Hello and welcome to our channel. Today's video is all about the cutest baby animals you've never heard of. We all love baby animals, and for a good reason. They are cute, innocent, and have a special charm that can melt anyone's heart. So, get ready to meet some of the most fascinating and lovable creatures you've never heard of. As humans, we tend to have an innate love for baby animals. It's something that transcends borders and cultures. Perhaps it's their innocent eyes, their playful nature, or the fact that they represent a new beginning. Regardless of the reason, there's no denying that baby animals have a special place in our hearts. Unfortunately, many of the animals we'll be featuring today are threatened or endangered due to habitat destruction, hunting, and other human activities. It's crucial that we raise awareness of these animals and their plight so that we can take steps to protect them and their habitats. First up, Let's meet the pygmy marmoset. This tiny primate is native to the Amazon rainforest and is the smallest monkey in the world. Despite their size, pygmy marmosets are incredibly social animals, living in family groups of up to nine individuals. They communicate through a series of high-pitched chirps and clicks, and their diet mainly consists of tree sap and insects. They're also known for their ability to jump up to 15 feet in a single leap. Unfortunately, the pygmy marmoset is threatened by habitat destruction due to logging and agriculture. They are also frequently captured and sold as pets, which is illegal but continues to happen. It's crucial that we take steps to protect the pygmy marmoset and their habitat to ensure that future generations can enjoy these adorable creatures. Now let's take a look at the fennec fox, a small nocturnal mammal that lives in the Sahara Desert. Fennec foxes have adapted to desert environments by having large ears that help them dissipate heat and locate prey. They are also skilled diggers and can burrow into the sand to avoid extreme temperatures. Their diet consists mainly of insects, rodents, and small mammals. Unfortunately, the fennec fox is threatened by habitat loss due to desertification, hunting, and the pet trade. They are sometimes kept as exotic pets which is not only illegal but also detrimental to the animal's welfare. It's crucial that we take steps to protect the fennec fox and their habitat to ensure their survival in the wild. Next on our list is the axolotl, a salamander that can regenerate its limbs and spinal cord. Axolotls are native to Mexico and are critically endangered in the wild due to habitat destruction and pollution. Their ability to regenerate makes them an essential research subject in medical and genetic studies. They are also popular in the pet trade due to their unique appearance and regenerative abilities. It's essential that we take steps to protect the axolotl and their habitat to ensure their survival in the wild. We can also support conservation efforts and research into their regenerative abilities, which could have significant implications for human medicine. Let's now meet the pangolin, a scaly mammal that's often referred to as a walking artichoke. Pangolins are fascinating creatures with their unique appearance and behaviors. They are the only mammals with scales, which are made of keratin, the same material as our hair and nails. These scales protect them from predators, but unfortunately, they have made pangolins one of the most trafficked animals in the world. Pangolin mothers are very attentive to their babies, carrying them on their tails for the first few months of their lives. Baby pangolins are called pangopups and are born with soft scales that harden as they grow older. Pangolins have another unique feature of their long tongues, which can be up to 40 centimeters in length. They use their tongues to catch insects, their main source of food, which they then grind up with their strong stomach muscles since they don't have teeth. Our next baby animal is the sugar glider, a small marsupial that's native to Australia. Sugar gliders are named after their love for sweet foods and are known for their ability to glide through the air using a membrane that stretches from their wrists to their ankles. But there's more to these cute creatures than just their gliding abilities. Sugar gliders are very social animals and live in colonies. They communicate with each other through a range of vocalizations and body language. They also love to play and build nests, often using leaves and twigs to construct them. One of the most adorable things about sugar gliders is their grooming behavior. They are very fastidious animals and will spend a lot of time grooming each other to keep their fur clean and healthy. They also have a unique scent, 
which they use to mark their territory. And now we have the slow loris, a nocturnal primate that's native to Southeast Asia. Slow lorises are often misunderstood animals, with many people not realizing that they are venomous. They have glands in their elbows that produce a toxic secretion, which they lick and then deliver through their bite when threatened. Slow lorises have a very unique way of eating. They use their hands to grasp their food, which they then pull towards their mouth. They are also very agile climbers, able to move quickly through the trees. Slow lorises are nocturnal animals, meaning they are active at night and sleep during the day. They have a very distinctive sleeping posture, curling up into a ball with their head tucked between their legs. Last but not least, let's meet the pudu, the smallest species of deer in the world. Pudus are native to the temperate rainforests of Chile and Argentina and are known for their distinctive spotted coats and tiny size, standing at just 14-17 inches tall at the shoulder. Unfortunately, the pudu is threatened by habitat loss due to logging and agriculture, as well as hunting. They are sometimes hunted for their meat and skin, and their small size makes them vulnerable to predators. It's crucial that we take steps to protect the pudu and their habitat to ensure their survival in the wild. Thanks for watching our video. We hope you enjoyed learning about baby animals. If you found this video informative, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative and entertaining videos on the animal kingdom. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future videos, please let us know in the comments section below. We'd love to hear from you. Until next time, keep exploring and learning,